Rainbow Robotics unveils RBY-1, wheeled and two-armed robot. The company recently signed a memorandum of understanding with Schaeffler Group and the Korea Electronics Technology Institute to co-develop the RBY-1 and other mobile manipulators in Korea. The past year has seen an explosion in the growth of humanoids, where most of the robots are two-legged and walk on two legs. Likewise, there have been many recent releases of mobile manipulators or autonomous mobile robots with a single arm manipulator on board the vehicle. The RBY-1 is a form of wheeled robot base with a humanoid double-arm robot on top. Rainbow Robotics robot uses that base to maneuver through its environment and position the arms for manipulation tasks. The company called this configuration a bimanual manipulator. To perform various and complex tasks, both arms on the RBY-1 are equipped with seven degrees of freedom and consist of a single torso with six axes that can move the body. With this kinematic configuration, it is possible to move more than 50 centimeters vertically, making it possible to perform tasks at various heights. The maximum driving speed for the RBY-1 is 5.6 miles per hour, and the company is claiming that the robot can accelerate quickly and turn at higher speeds by leaning the body into the turn. To avoid toppling while in motion, the center of gravity can be safely controlled by dynamically changing height of the body. At press time, there are not a lot of details about the robot's ability to function using artificial intelligence, and one early video showed it working via teleoperation. It's likely that the demonstrations in the video below are with remote operators. However, Rainbow Robotics clearly has the goal of making its robot fully autonomous in the future, as more research, development, training, and simulation are completed. One of the largest robot exhibitions ever held at the Science Museum in London made quite a splash. More than 100 robots of all kinds from different eras were on display, but we will focus on the most unusual and creepy robot. The first robot visitors to the exhibition will encounter is an incredibly lifelike mechanical human baby, recently acquired for the museum's new robotics collection. Usually made for use on film sets, this baby has no intelligence, making only pre-programmed movements like sneezing, breathing, and moving its arms and legs. This mechanical human baby was created for the exhibition and is now part of the museum's new human robotics collection. It was made by a special effects company, which make animatronic machines for films. Robotic Baby was commissioned from John Nolan, London animatronic expert, to be the first exhibit in the Science Museum's Robots exhibition. John has constructed a number of animatronic babies for use in films and TV programs. They are usually controlled by puppeteers. Whatever you think of this little critter, there's no arguing that it's unbelievably impressive. The attention to detail is phenomenal, and the lifelike sneezes, breathing and waving of arms and legs showcases the cutting-edge technology that's at the forefront of robotics. The exo-hand from Festo is an exoskeleton that can be worn like a glove. The fingers can be actively moved and the force in the fingers can be increased, while the operator's hand movements are recorded and transmitted to the robotic arm in real time. The exoskeleton arm has all the same basic physiological degrees of mobility as human arm. Thus, it implements the same technique of grasping and transferring objects as the human hand. The aim of the project is to increase the strength and endurance of the human hand, to expand the limits of human capabilities, and to free the elderly person from their dependence on others. Using ExoHand as a model, Festo supports its customers in developing innovative solutions for human-machine interaction. The system increases the strength of a person's arm and helps the worker to stay engaged in the work process for a long time without fatigue or other physical problems. To prevent fatigue, the ExoHand can be worn on the hand during assembly work, where it will function as an assistive system to provide a more favorable assembly work environment. Researchers from the California Institute of Technology have created a bipedal robot that combines walking with flying, making it exceptionally agile and capable of complex movements. The California Institute of Technology describes Leonardo as a partially walking robot and partially flying drone, as it can walk on ropes, jump, and even ride a skateboard. While this sounds impressive, the insect-like design of the robot and the sudden transition to flight mode can certainly be intimidating to anyone. Additionally, Leo is the first robot to use multi-joint supports and propeller-based motors to achieve precise control over its balance. Leo stands at a height of 61 centimeters and is equipped with two legs with three articulated joints each, as well as four propeller motors mounted at an angle to the robot's shoulders, which not only help correct its position, but also enable it to take to the sky to leap over rough terrain, stairs, or other obstacles. 
The team plans to improve Leo's performance by creating a more rigid leg structure that can support more of the robot's weight and help increase the thrust of the propellers it uses for flight. The humanoid robot Hubo-2 has been developed at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology's Humanoid Robot Research Center. Hubo-2 is lighter and faster than its older brother, weighing 45 kilograms, and capable of walking two times faster. A major improvement over early humanoid designs is Hubo-2's gait. Most humanoid robots walk with their knees bent, which is dynamically more stable but not natural compared to human walking. Hubo-2 performs straight leg walking, it consumes less energy and allows for faster walking. The robot has more than 40 motors and dozens of sensors, cameras, and controllers. It carries a lithium polymer battery with a 480 watt hour capacity, which keeps the robot running up two hours with movement and up to seven hours without movement. Another improvement is the hand design. It weighs only 380 grams and has five motors and a torque sensor. It can handle any object that fits on its palm and its wrist can rotate in a human-like way. Hubo 2 has the range of motion and the mobility to dance, shake hands, and even play with a sword. The iCub 3 robot avatar has the ability to transmit video and haptic experiences to a person wearing haptic feedback gloves and a virtual reality headset over considerable distances, thus providing an alternative for people to participate in events without the need to commute. This robot, with a weight of 52 kilograms and a height of 125 centimeters, has 54 points of articulation in its aluminum alloy and plastic structure. Its head houses two cameras instead of eyes, as well as an internet connection that serves as a brain. Through these cameras and sensors that cover its body, the robot sends data to its brain, and these sensations are replicated in a virtual reality suit and headset used by a remote human operator. This combination of technologies let robots serve as an avatar for the operator, as it walked around the pavilion, had a conversation with a human tour guide, shook their hand, and even hugged them. Haptic feedback units in the torso of the bodysuit let the operator feel that hug. Everything occurred in real time, with a lag of only a few milliseconds. Sarcos Robotics has showcased the application of the full-size Exoskeleton Guardian XO for various tasks. One of the applications is loading luggage at airports, for which exoskeletons are already being used as part of a joint pilot project between Sarcos and Delta Airlines. In early 2020, the company launched a pilot project with Delta Airlines, in which exoskeletons are used for luggage loading. And now Sarcos has demonstrated other potential uses for the Guardian XO. Different attachments on the robotic arms are used for cargo handling. For suitcases and heavy boxes with rope handles, long hooks are used. And for transferring tires, an attachment with two downward bent plates is used. The operator can also easily release the control handle of the robotic arm and make some minor movements themselves. It is worth noting that the speed and range of motion of the exoskeleton are limited both hardware and software-wise to prevent injury to the operator in case of device malfunction. If the system loses power for any reason, the exoskeleton will come to a smooth stop. With a load of 72 kilograms and walking at a speed of 4.8 kilometers per hour, the Guardian XO consumes around 500 watts. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.